Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Wednesday, the 14th of April, and we're in the second week of our Easter season. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel this morning is we keep reading from the Gospel of John, that's chapter 3, verses 16 to 21. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him, the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned, but whoever refuses to believe is condemned already, because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only Son. On these grounds is sentence pronounced, that though the light has come into the world, men have shown they prefer darkness to the light because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everybody who does wrong hates the light and avoids it, for fear his actions should be exposed. But the man who lives by the truth comes out into the light so that it may be plainly seen that what he does is done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. just like to share with you again the words at the beginning of this gospel. God sent his son into the world so that the world may be saved through him. This is a beautiful statement. It's a beautiful statement of the limitless love of God. It's a beautiful statement about the loving devotion of a father and son. Today's gospel also introduces us to the mystery of evil. God wanted the people to be saved, but also gave us free will. And it means that many do not respond to God. Many choose to be separated from God. And as this gospel highlights, they choose to live in the dark. For our reflection today, we as Christians remember and celebrate the goodness we find in the world because that goodness ultimately comes from the Father through his Son. And so today, we might look for the good in our world and thank God for it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining me this morning for our Gospel Reflection. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Until then, God bless. Thanks, everyone.